Hello, hello, this is day four of the development journal for this new game I'm working on. Um, so, got a lot done today. Uh, first off, I'll show you the uh, completed animation for the walking. So, each uh, direction of walking, this is a four directional animation. Um, the game is going to be a four directional uh, animated game, although you can move in eight directions, including the angles. Uh, it's only going to show four. Um, but anyways, I'm doing eight frames for each one of those directions. So all of those frames are now complete. Um, I'm really, really happy with them. And the uh, the way that I did this and um, the fact that I could get this many animations done in, in a couple days uh, makes me feel good about doing a lot more of the artwork for this project. And I actually do like the look of this character. So um, I'm confident that I can make the game look good without needing a, a, a full-time uh, graphics person. Although I, I would appreciate having one on board. But anyways, I'm pretty happy with the character. And I think I'm going to keep on doing this. But as you can see, there's a lot of drawing to do. This is just walking. There's attacking. There's getting hurt, there's dying, there's picking up stuff, there's posing for things, there's um, pushing things, there's so many different types of animations that need to be done, but I'm, I'm, uh, I'm glad that this one's done. So I'm going to take this into the game tomorrow and redo all the animations in the game so the character will be rebuilt. Uh, that'll take a few hours. And then I can see how I can do the uh, weapon attachment and a lot of stuff to see if this actually fixes the issue I've been having with the character all along. Uh, the body being too tall and it's just too hard to uh, maneuver around and attack things. So hopefully this will fix it and I really like the look of it. So anyways, I wanted to show you that that is pretty well complete. Um, so let's jump in what I've done in the game. So the game has had a lot of improvements today. Um, mainly with the generating of the world and also I added a new feature being that you can pick up uh, objects and then throw them and um, it did cause a little bug in something so it sort of broke something doing this but I'll fix that hopefully tomorrow but let's just walk through and I'll show you so I have here a world the bottom is the game the top is sort of uh, an overview of, of the uh, scene that's being built. And what happens is every every time I walk through a room, it's going to generate uh, rooms around me automatically. So the world will just keep growing as I move. So I'm just going to move the character around. You can't really see. I can zoom in here. See, there's uh, the room I'm in right now. There's a room over there and a room over here. I'm just going to zoom out and we can see that it generates itself all over the place. So as I move into this room, you'll see a couple more rooms were added. Um, and all these things are, are randomly generated as we go. So there's just an empty default room. I haven't filled anything into there, but there'll be some stuff here. There's some critters there. And they'll remember their location as we move through. So let me just see if I can get back into there without getting bumped. So you can see that B is still in the same... Oh, see, it even follows you between rooms. So it's pretty neat that way. Um, yeah, and as you can see in the, in the screen above, um, the world keeps on on getting larger and each room has uh, doors that go into other rooms that are randomly generated as well so this was the same room as the one that we just came from on the left although the one on the left doesn't have a door on the bottom where this one does so we can go to an, a room on the bottom and maneuver our way through and we were lucky because this one actually worked out but there is a exit into a dungeon here um, which maybe one day that will be going somewhere I don't know I don't know if this will actually be part of the game but I'm just fooling around with different concepts of how I can lay out the different rooms and uh, have it auto-generated and maybe make it a little bit unique um, for the player. So I'm going to go up here and show you the pickup thing. So if I come over, I have the bushes as being able to pick up. So I'll use the action key and I'll pick them up. It's not animated at this time, but and also the layering isn't done. But once you pick this bush up, you can throw it and it'll explode there. So there are a little bit of things I have to work out on this because I just finished doing this. So there's a few little bugs here and there, but I thought it was pretty cool. Now I have these th these different uh, objects in the game which can be picked up and thrown. Uh, so that's really, really uh, neat. So that along with the world generator, the generation for having maybe some nice map work and the completed animations for the walking, which are going to update tomorrow so this, uh, this guy won't look so weird anymore and, and walk around with his arms sticking way out to the side. Uh, and also the weapon weapon is going to work a little bit better. So anyway, anyways, that's uh, that's what I did today. So um, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. If you have any comments, let me know. Subscribe if you want to follow along. And if you ever want to know how I did any of the stuff that I'm doing here, 
uh, just ask and I know hopefully I can do some tutorial videos maybe to show what I'm doing here um, yeah and I'll help you out make your own game so I want this to be sort of a conversation more so than me just going through a journal of everything I've done uh, and hopefully you can watch the game progress much better than it is right now but I can I think I've done quite a few neat little things that could turn into a nice game so uh, thanks for watching and see you on the next one bye bye